Well, some good news out of all this LGBT, homosexual, transgender insanity that goes on during Pride Month. Turns out some uh, really based and red-pilled middle school kids have finally had enough of this LGBT, homosexual, pride ideology being shoved down their throats uh, every single day during Pride Month. And have finally rebelled against it and uh, did so in a very interesting manner. This is on uh, Breitbart News. It says, USA are my pronouns. Middle school... Uh, middle schoolers rebel against Pride Month indoctrination. Yeah, pretty much that the adults and teachers, who are part of the problem, by the way, don't protect them, well, these kids are going to stand up for themselves, and good for them. It says in the article, adults in a Burlington, Massachusetts, sorry, Massachusetts community are calling for action in response to middle school middle school children tearing down Pride banners and chanting USA are my pronouns. The principal of the school reacted to the student's choice of rebelling against Pride Month by saying, when one individual or group uh, or of individuals' beliefs and actions result in the demeaning of another individual or group is completely unacceptable. The Burlington community is calling on town leaders to take action in the wake of a recent middle school incident in which students disrupt their Pride event, reported Boston.com. Notice how it's always the, it's only the adults who are having a problem with it. The kids actually have enough common sense to say, hey, we don't want this garbage being shoved down our throats every single day during Pride Month. You know. Anyway, continuing on the article, on June 2nd, students at Marshall Simmons Middle School reportedly disrupted the school's so-called Spirit Day celebration for Pride Month, which was sponsored by the school's Spectrum Club, an LGBT student group. As part of the event, Spectrum Club decorated the school with signs that read Happy Pride Month, as well as posters with messages such as, Why it's not okay to say, That's so gay. According to letters sent to parents from the school's principal, Carrie purchase obtained by boston.com i mean really i mean oh it's offensive to say that's so gay wow talk about being thin skinned at best by the way free speech is something that the lgbt lobby seems to not like so i want to just point that out it says in the article they also put up rainbow streamers and pride flag banners and handed out rainbow stickers as well as encouraged students and faculty to wear rainbow colored clothing but some of the students reportedly reacted by tearing down the banners and signs behavior that marshall simmons middle school principal referred to as inappropriate now i'll tell you what's inappropriate forcing sexuality forcing sexual indoctrination down these kids throat that's what's inappropriate i mean i remember when i was in high school uh I mean, when I was when I was in middle school age, it wasn't that bad. But when I was in high school, it was like just constantly shoved down your throats, even when it was not Pride Month. And of course, I rebelled against it. I rejected it. And of course, I was kind of the lone survivor, me and a couple of my friends. So it is nice seeing a newer generation of kids rebelling in mass numbers against this LGBT uh, garbage being shoved down their throats. But anyway, it says uh, other students chanted USA are my pronouns in the hallways and wore red, white, and blue clothing and face paint instead of suggesting the suggested rainbow colored attire, the, the uh, letter added. Middle school administrators responded by calling the students' actions completely unacceptable and said it was demeaning to other students while also likening it to violence. Oh yeah, it's violence. See, it's the eternal victim mentality of the LGBT lobby. Rejecting against, basically rejecting having their ideology shoved down your throats is akin to persecuting them. You know, you must accept that you must bear the colors of our uh, cult or else, you know, we're, you're persecuting us. See, it went from two adults having uh, consensual acts in the bedroom to now you must accept it or else you're persecuting us. You know, you must promote it and wear our colors or else you're persecuting us. Yeah, because the LGBT lobby was never about two consensual adults having sex in the bedroom. It was actually about forcing kids to accept it. But thankfully, a newer generation of kids, I mean, my generation, Gen Z, is just totally just down the drain pipe. But you have this called Generation Alpha. They're actually finally having enough of this garbage and rebelling against it, and good for them. So, wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by all this homosexual ideology being shoved down our throats on a constant basis. Because normal people, regardless of their age, don't accept this kind of stuff. So anyway, wanted to point that out. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the brethren, goodbye. Thank you.